What's up? I am back with another video. In this one, I'm going to teach you how to throw two different types of pitches, the fastball and the changeup. There are different variations for each type of pitch. There's different, a couple different types of fastballs, a couple different changeups, and I'm going to teach you those couple different grips for each type of pitch so you can pick and choose which one you like the best. And I mean, a good fastball and a good changeup is pretty much all you need to be a dominant pitcher if they're really good pitches for you. You don't necessarily need all those breaking balls, the curveballs, the sliders, especially if you're at the younger levels, Little League or even high school too. I'll definitely make another video in the future about those different breaking balls and other pitches that you can throw but for now we're just going to stick to the fastball and the slider coming up welcome to upswing baseball where we give you tips and drills to improve your baseball skills so subscribe and hit the bell if you want to take your baseball skills to the next level and let's just do this so the first main type of pitch that every single pitcher throws is the fastball it's the best easiest and most popular pitch in the game. There are two main types, the four seam fastball and the two seam fastball. There's also a sinker, but sinker is basically just a two seam that moves a lot. There's also the cut fastball or the cutter, but we're not gonna talk about that in this video. So just the four seam and the two seam. Some pitchers just throw the two seam, some pitchers throw both, but most pitchers just focus on the four seam. For me personally, I know how to throw both, but I just stick to the four seam in games, and then I tinker with the two seam in bullpens and warmups and stuff like that. And that's worked great for me so far, so I recommend doing that too, just throwing the four seam in games. But for the grip, you want your two finger, pointer, middle finger on these two seams right here. You see the seams go like that. That's why it's called the four seam one, two, three, four seams. You put your fingers across those seams like this. You see the thumb is tucked underneath right there. I like to have my thumb angled like that. Some people have it straight down like that. I like mine angled on its side. And of course your other two fingers are just chilling on that side of the ball like that. As far as how you throw it, you just throw it normal straight over the top. However your normal arm angle is, there's no pronating, no wrist flicking, none of that. Just throw it normally. But I love this four seam grip because this pitch is easy to locate and it's really fast. This is the pitch that most MLB pitchers use to blow hitters away. And the two seam is kind of the same thing, just on a different place on the ball. You still have these two fingers running across the seams like this. Instead of over here, you turn the ball, you see these two right here, they're on those like that. You can do it straight up like this, but some guys also move it over. So instead of this, they move it over a little bit. So when they come through, it can slide off that way and then it can dive away like that. And when you come through, instead of coming straight through like the four seam, you wanna to try to pronate your wrist, turn it inside towards you so it spins off that way and gets that sinker movement, that little bit of sink, that dive. It's really tricky to learn how to pronate your wrist well. When I first started trying to throw the two seam in the cutter, not the cutter, the sinker, I worked at it, worked at it, struggled, it took me a while. I'm better now, still not great. If I was, I'd throw the two seam in a game, but that's how you throw the two seam. But another plus of the four seam and two seam is it doesn't hurt your arm. So if you're a parent or just a player worried about your arm as a young player, you don't have to worry about that with these two pitches, you can just throw away. So those are the fastballs. We're gonna move on to a couple different changes Jumps. This pitch isn't thrown quite as much as other off-speed like curveball and slider at the major league level, but at, in Little League and high school, it's still thrown a lot. I don't know about everybody else, but I struggled with the changeup. It was not a good pitch for me until very, very recently. I don't know if just the coaches could never teach me it or I just wasn't good at throwing it. I don't really know, but I think a lot of other young kids don't have very good changeups either. But if you can have a good changeup at the Little League level, you can mow through hitters because most hitters do not know how to hit off-speed. And if you're a Little Leaguer, you can throw these changeups because they do not hurt your arm either. There's two types I'm gonna talk about, the circle change and the splitter. Okay, wait, I realize I lied now. The circle change doesn't hurt your arm. The splitter I've heard does, so I would lay off the splitter until you're at least at the high school level. So we're gonna start with the circle change. You're gonna put your fingers across these two seams that you use for the two seam fastball, except instead of these two fingers, it's these two fingers. They're across it like that. And then it's called a circle change because a lot of people make a circle with these fingers on this side of the ball. But I don't I do not do that personally. It's kind of up to you. I just kind of let them chill around here and my pinky's on the other side, chilling over there. But when I come through, I focus on throwing it off of these two fingers and then pronating a little bit to try to get a little bit of dive on it. Another thing, another thing I heard about just a couple days ago, some guys like to put their thumb in this finger. They like to push on the ball on this side to make it spin out that way. Same thing as pronating your wrist, it'll dive that way. And just a quick note for this pitch, do not slow down your arm when you're throwing it. Still throw it normally or else the hitter will know something's up when you're coming like this and you go 
Uh, I just slow motion throw it. They know a changeup's coming. They're not gonna swing or they're just gonna sit back and crush it. It doesn't need to be 20 miles an hour slower. It just needs to be like five, 10 miles an hour slower. And that's plenty enough for the, it to miss the bats. And you can get that little speed off of it by just throwing it full speed. So that's the circle change. Now we're gonna talk about the splitter. So before a couple weeks ago, I thought my splitter was the only splitter out there. I threw mine like that, but apparently there's another way to throw it. And I've also learned that some people call mine the fork ball. I mean, I don't really know how that's a fork ball. So I mean, splitter, fork ball, whatever you wanna call it. I throw mine like this, you split your, these two fingers on the ball. You can see there's these like four points, one, two, three, four. You wanna split it on those two and they're on top of each of these seams, your fingers. So that when you come through, you're coming through here, it slips off of those and then it kinda has a knuckle ball spinning a little bit faster though. And then it kinda dives a little bit at the end. And again, this one too, you wanna throw it full speed or else you're gonna struggle to get it to the plate. Don't slow down your arm at all. But I mean, that's the better way to throw the splitter in my opinion, but my teammate showed me the, how he throws it. He comes, here's those two seams again, but instead of coming right here, he splits them a little bit more and it's right there. He just throws it normally like that. So I mean, I don't know really how that pitch works. I haven't thrown it personally. So you can try both ways, figure out which one works for you. But the only difference is this one, the fingers are a little bit closer together. So the pitch is a little bit easier to control. And once again, if you're in Little League, I would stay away from this pitch if you care about your arm health, arm safety, and all of that. So that's it for the changeups, guys. Like I said earlier, you can definitely be a good pitcher with a good fastball and a good changeup, but it can be nice if you have a third or fourth pitch, a breaking ball, or other stuff like that. And I'll talk about those different pitches in another video coming up, so stay tuned for that. But that's it for this video. Now you can head down to the description. There's lots of cool stuff down there. But leave a like on this video if you haven't already, and comment below your favorite pitch that you love to throw. But that's that's it guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. Now you can head over and watch this video on your screen if you would like to improve your baseball skills some more. Either way, I will see you later.